No, they didn't. And then, then they controlled the, um, uh, in terms of farmers, they controlled the, uh, the markets, you know, for the far people who had gotten out into the, uh, uh, onto the land, and, uh, you know, we're trying to make a living during doing farming. Uh, they found out that because of the separation of farming and markets, they were uh, usually at the mercy of uh, intermediaries. And of course, because of the vicissitudes of, of farming, you know, one one year you have a good year, one next year you have a, you have a bad year. Farmers were uh, often wound up in debt after a few years for for seeds and for uh, for implements and for you know for all the things that farmers uh, need. So farmers were uh, um, continually uh, struggling with debt. And when um, the Industrial Revolution, now this is a this is a uh, a part of the Industrial Revolution that that uh, it, it it it's really key, but very few people know about it in, in this country, is that that slavery in the South was not really that big until the Industrial Revolution, and it was the invention of the cotton gin, which uh, created this enormous expansion of slavery in the South, and it also created uh, the factories in New England, where which were. Uh, mostly uh, uh, set up and uh, using water power in these these fast running uh, New England uh, rivers and, and streams. And uh, the the labor for the factories came from these farm families, which were, uh, you know, mostly the the children of the farm family. They, uh, you know, they were looking for uh, economic advancement. So uh, they would get jobs in these north, northern factories, which were spinning, the, the, the cotton came from the, from the south through the, through, through the slave system, and the cotton was sent north to be spun into clothing in these, in these northern New England mills. So you had these two kinds of oppression going on. Uh, you had the southern oppression of, uh, of, uh, of absolute chattel slavery, of, uh, of, of a type which really had had barely been seen since the uh, since the old Roman Empire, and you had this uh, more modern kind of uh, slavery uh, of wage slavery, which was developing uh, in the in the in New England and in the North, and it was all uh, involved with the um, with the with the uh, industrial system, uh, which um, you know which had grown up in the uh, in in the early nineteenth uh, century. Tremendous much. Uh, women, uh, women and children were were often uh, the uh, the laborers in, uh, in in many of the uh, uh, the northern uh, factories and uh, and mills, you know, simply because uh, um, the machinery. You know, with, with machinery, you no longer needed uh, uh, the 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 type of heavy lifting that that you know that the male body uh, is. Is able to do, and you could have children, uh, you know. So it was, there was thousands and thousands of children, uh, and uh, and young women, uh, in these in these factories, and it was a very uh, uh, brutal uh, situation. You know, this is before there was no public education. Uh, and that public education was one of the radical, radical uh, socialist uh, uh, proposals, and. Uh, you know, and struggle. It was one of the great struggles that was that was that was won by uh, by progressives for for, for f fighting for uh, you know for long periods of time just to get the rudiments of uh, of uh, of public education.